Welcome back to another Desert Bath Co. vlog. My name is Tiffany and I'm the owner and creator behind Desert Bath Company. I hope you guys all had an awesome and safe New Year's and happy 2022. What better time to kind of do a little restart and revamp of your business than the beginning of the year. One of the things that I've been trying to add to my displays for a very long time is bubble garland. I have looked everywhere to try to find a pre-made bubble garland and Etsy, Amazon, everything. And the only type of bubble garland I can find is like, um, like the flat paper, um, like printouts that look like little bubbles that like hang from the ceiling, which is great too. That's probably good for like birthday parties and stuff, but not exactly my taste for um, a higher end bath and body display. So what I found was the clear and pearl versions of the play pit balls. So um, I think the largest size is a 2.75 round one um, that's in this bag here. And then I got a little bit smaller ones too. Um, that way there's a little bit of a variation in the bubble size um, and it's not just all one size. Trying to make this as realistic as possible, but um, obviously people know they're not real bubbles, but hey. I'm basically stringing all of these together with fishing string. If you have a better method of doing this or you've made a bubble garland yourself, please tell us about it in the comments below because I'm really curious. I have not found anyone else who has done this. I've looked on Pinterest, I've looked on Etsy, I've looked everywhere, everywhere on Instagram too. So without further ado, let me show you guys how I plan on stringing these together and we'll see how it turns out. What you're gonna need is a needle, some fishing string, and the play pit balls. So I will link both sizes of these below. Um, they do come with a per mix of a pearl and a clear colored. And then um, that way, if you're interested in getting both sizes, um, you can check those out. I did buy these off of Amazon, so. But what I basically do is I poke it through, push the needle through. Now watch your fingers up top and your hands all around here because if you can barely see where that needle's at. You don't want it to pop through and, and get your fingers um, or you know, wear a thimble if you want to, but you get it coming through there, pull it through. Now you'll see that this is deflated and this is probably the most time consuming part because you kind of have to just squish it, squish it, squish it. Now, if you used a thicker needle, um, this would actually blow up a lot faster. Um, but because the needle I'm using is, is relatively small, it's just a regular sewing needle. Um, but maybe a thicker needle actually might work. Now that we've got on there, I'm gonna do another one here. So I promise it gets faster as you go. I just hang out on the couch and once you kind of get a groove of stringing these together, you'll get a ton on here. I'd say do one long string and then um, cut it up and tie up all the four little pieces. But pretty simple, just it's kind of like knitting on your couch except you're making bubble garland and my little doggies are just napping next to me while I do my project. So now that we have a few of these strung on here, I'm gonna show you. First of all, you could do it just like this. You could leave it like this if you want this to hang somewhere or whatever. Um, the reason why I have these in this pattern is because I want it to be completely random. I'm going to actually take four of these at a time and bundle them up and tie them off. And then I'm gonna take each bundle of four and tie those together as well. So now that we have all of our little groups of four, we are gonna take the little bit of excess fishing string and we are gonna tie these together. So you 
can see here, I took my bundles of four and they're all tied together. It doesn't really matter where you tie them as long as they're kind of like towards the end of it. It'll kind of have its own natural little bubbly flow to it. This is actually turning out way better than I anticipated. Contacted a display company to see if they could create something like this. And they wanted to make it out of glass balls, which does not work when you're trying to travel for markets. Um, luckily, these are plastic. Even if they get smushed, they'll reinflate. So I'm going to do a bunch of like two to three foot ones. And then once I take them to the retail stores, I will string them all together. Um, that way it's just easier for transportation. And I'm not really sure how much I'm going to need to kind of like stack these um, because I am trying to like build it up a little bit. So I'm going to take them just like this. And then when we get to the store, we'll see um, exactly how we need to configure them and tie them together to really make this display work. Okay, so today is the day we finally get to go to the sip and shop to add the bubble garland I've been working on to the bathtub. And we also have to relocate the bathtub as well. So my husband is going with me. I have two garbage bags full of the bubble garland I created. So I'm hoping this is gonna be enough. If not, I do have um, some extras I set aside here. Without further ado, let's head to the sipping shop. The tub is finally done. Are you ready to see it? For joining me as I create this beautiful bubble garland. If you like this type of content, please make sure to subscribe, hit that thumbs up, and I'll see you guys on the next one. Toodaloo!